No, this is regarding a dream I had last night. That uh, I feel as if it's near the time for Mount Vesuvius again, which uh, destroyed, remember, Pompeii. Um, which is one of the cities near Rome and um, Naples. And uh, I feel as if the Lord has been telling me that this is going to erupt very, very soon. Uh, could be within the next year, who knows? So, could be a warning for those in that area. Uh, they might ask, uh, why is this happening? Why would God allow this? Well, you know, half of priests and bishops are gay. This was uh, a statement made by uh, Pope Francis two years ago, January uh, 2016. And I would speculate that the other half like pizza, if you know what I'm saying, that would be uh, probably pedophiles. So, um, you can just flick through this article. It's uh, many gay orgies caught um, within and around the Vatican and property that Pope Francis owns, etc., etc. Security chiefs. And we, we all know about Pizza Gate, we all know about um, the many children who've been molested in the Catholic Church. Sadly, I've known one or two of them. Sadly, at least uh, one of them I know that I can think of um, took their own life. And I think it really traces back to the fact that Catholic priests are gay and they, and they travel around the world and uh, molest um, children. And uh, then they move on. They, they just pray the predators and the church protects them and of course you know the last pope had to resign um, Ratzinger because of all the arrest warrants and you know a lot, a lot of them have arrest warrants out for them including the queen of course uh, the queen back in I think it was the, the 50s or 60s the 1960s uh, went to a, a catholic school in uh, Canada and apparently around about 10 or so of these children disappeared so uh, the uh, Queen of course is a Knight of Malta as well so uh, very much controlled by the Vatican I think they're all, they've all been compromised the the elite of the societies so that they can't uh, do what is right they all seem to be compromised by this uh, controlling faction which I think that um, for a long time, you know, we've seen uh, the Vatican announce itself as the one world head of the one world religion, which is creating a, a, a new religion, which uh, questionably over the years it's been Christian, but only just, you know, hanging on to some principles of the Bible. But then again, taking the rights of priests to marry back in the 10th century, if you look at the history. so really just started to deteriorate but we know that this region of the world the Romans were always known for their um, sexual um, immorality especially of course the, the elite you know uh, you know the pharaohs what you might call the pharaohs or the actual um, you know the leaders of that society Here's a quote from Joan Vion, who is a journalist, and uh, she's speaking of the Pope and the British Queen as two of the most powerful monarchs in the world, although they seem to be controlled by a hidden faction. They do have a lot of, uh, own a lot of land and uh, properties around the world. You know, if you look at all the, the Catholic um, dioceses, etc., etc., you know, we saw. Uh, UFO going into that diocese the other day and I, I just felt the Holy Spirit has been instructing me that there's a lot of demonic activity going on around there so even though it's classed as a UFO an unidentified flying object I think that that was some type of principality I think that that was some type of uh, demonic thing that I saw the other day so uh, you can check that video out 
Uh, it's called the three UFO. Let's read this uh, quote out. The papal see is considered by the world's oldest authority on royalty. The Almanac de Gotha to be the oldest monarchy in the world. Therefore, that makes the Pope a king, with the cardinals of the church considered to be equal to the sons of kings, the head of a world religion, the ruler of a recognized country, the Vatican. Now, even uh, Rome itself, Italy did not um, recognize the Vatican for what it was until around about, I think, before the Second World War, they went back and forward. Now they recognize it, and now the Vatican recognizes Italy, and you know. But you know, I, I, Italians of uh, many of them know the the great um, w wicked things that go on within the Vatican. You know, a lot of them do know that, and uh, you know, the age of alternative Christianity, uh, the past hundred years where people can join. You know, the Jehovah Witnesses seem to be a fairly popular alternative, but sadly they're not preaching the, the right Messiah. And people just tend to go down these avenues because they're they're running from this Roman beast still. You know, it's been uh, revived, of course, in the Vatican too. Um, the Queen comes from the world's second oldest monarchy, is the head of the Anglican Church, um, and as the ruler, and she, she's also a, a druid, um, and also we know that the, the Caesars or the Caesars were uh, that that was um, they were assassinated. I think that was before the start of the First World War. That was what really caused the First World War. And of course, the Rothschilds are suspected of a lot of these um, things the past hundred years that they are really sort of in control and in the midst of it now. And the fact that uh, there's some, and I don't want to go too deeply into it, but uh, there are some articles that state that the Queen is, is illegitimate. Um, now, of course, um, Tony Robinson did a documentary about, you know, the whole British lineage going back about over 200 years being illegitimate. But there's another article that the Queen herself is, um, she's had many siblings that have uh, been in homes because uh, they've been semi-retarded. And apparently Prince Philip calls his wife, who is the Queen, cabbage, quote unquote. So you can, uh, maybe there's there's a lot more of a backstory than uh, we're led to believe through the, the mainstream media. Anyhow, she is the ruler of Britain, as well, you know, as far as we know, but I think, you know, uh, there's, I, I would argue probably the Rothschilds are, are running Britain and most of the other nations now. As her title shows that the Army, Navy and Air Force of the United Kingdom report to her. Yes, that's true. They're literally, literally Her Majesty's Army, Her Majesty's Navy, Her Majesty's Air Force. Well... Yeah, on the face of it, it seems to be that, but uh, I doubt that, you know, a 90-year-old woman is... She has actually stepped down about four years ago, and um, she's only doing it part-time now. I think uh, Prince Charles has really been running things, not just for the past four years, but he's been really taking that role as uh, the sort of a head of the royal family, <laughs> even though he's not king, but he's been literally I think pulling a lot of strings um, advising a lot of politicians etc so anyhow it's true though because you know the Lord showed me that the, the Pope is a king in fact that he um, he also has concubines you know a lot of the Popes died um, some of them with prostitutes and children and so on and so on it had to be covered over they're having having orgies all the time, but as a king, you 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 produce children, you produce heirs, and I think there's only about three families, if if I remember correctly, some of the articles I've read, and they're mostly mafia families, Italian mafia families that really that these uh, popes uh, actually come from. So. We'll go into that a little bit deeper in another video, but back to 
back to this and uh, really hope I'm answering a lot of questions and the fact that if uh, God allows this to happen in the next uh, year or two um, you know you know it's because of the, the great sin and immorality that's going on um, in Italy at the moment it's going on around the world just now but uh, seems to be in Italy Vesuvius is the only active volcano in mainland Europe has produced some of the continent's largest volcanic eruptions located on Italy's west coast overlooks the bay and city of Naples sits at the crater of the ancient Soma volcano Vesuvius is mo uh, most famous for this 1780 AD eruption which destroyed the Roman cities of Pompeii and Har um, I can't pronounce that Herculaneum uh, though the volcano's last eruption was in 1944 it's still it was you know just before the second world war ended I think you know so all of these is, has have some significant prophetic timings I feel it still uh, represents a great danger to the cities that surround it especially the busy metropolis of Naples so there's some pictures of it there's the location, there's Naples, there's Rome Pompeii would be somewhere around here um, let's scan down now you can you can uh, of course read more more detail about it. This is ancient Pompeii, some of the ruins, and for some of you who don't believe in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, some speculate that God caused a volcano to erupt around what we know as the Dead Sea just now, and caused all that sulfur to, of course, uh, kill what what was in that sea before it wasn't called the Dead Sea before, um, but after. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and the five cities of the plains were destroyed then it was uh, everything was uh, killed because of the high uh, content of sulfur in the area nothing survived not even birds not even fish and it's very hard to survive in that area because of the strong smell of sulfur if you've ever been down there in, in Israel and and the, and the uh, west coast of the Dead Sea or you can go over to Jordan to the east coast if you want and just, just uh, go right round it so this is what Sodom and Gomorrah would have looked like and this is what Pompeii actually did look like this is the remains of the people while they were lying in their beds um, there's somebody just about getting up from their bed and all of a sudden there's just hot um, hot ash everywhere and just literally um, petrifying them on the spot now uh, I think I personally think that God's judgments are very just and they're humane. Um, I don't. I doubt that these people would have felt would have been in pain for that long, you know, before before they died, you know. So that's even though God's judgments, God's wrath is very very strong on the wicked. Um, we know that there was Christians in Pompeii who continually uh, warned uh, those around these cities. God was going to judge it and God did judge it with used a volcano to do it and it could happen again it could happen again and so this is this is definitely uh, an appeal to to the people around that area to repent of their sin turn to Yeshua turn to the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart you know get online if you're already online um, you know go to um, equivalent King James Bible in your own language and uh, I'll try and leave some links in Italian uh, to my, my friends there in, in Italy which I know one of the missionaries in uh, Sicily she does a great job in uh, <laughs> you know taking the gospel out to the the Godfather Mafia country um but this is real um, this is what can happen and if your soul isn't saved you know at the point of death it's an eternal hell um, heaven and hell are real even the Catholic Church still I believe teach that heaven and hell are real uh, the only difference is the Catholic Church have used 
that teaching, they've twisted it, and the fact that they can, you know, they tell their congregation if you give them money, that they can pray souls out of hell. You know, it's called purgatory. There's no such thing in the Bible, my friends. They've used the truth, um, the terrifying truth of hell, to uh, um, they've, they've used it as a fear factor for people to give them money, and that's how they built the basilica. You know, through people's uh, fear. Um, hell is real, you know. I I don't I don't want your money. I can't pay f pray for your relatives or do anything for them when when they pass over. That's it. It's in God's hands. You have to preach the gospel now in the hope that people turn and repent of their sin. And I'm not doing this for money. You know, I've lost friends and family. I've probably lost money doing this. Spent time making videos and. Um, probably the, the, the strongest insults I've had are, are from other Christians you know um, and that that's the truth so uh, I'll leave the links to this article and you can look through it finally this is an eyewitness account on the 24th of August in early afternoon my mother drew my uncle's attention to a cloud of unusual size and appearance. Its general appearance can be best expressed as being like an umbrella pine, for it rose to a great height on a sort of trunk and then split off into branches, almost like a, you know, like a nuclear bomb. I imagine because it was thrust upwards by the first blast and then left unsupported as the pressure subsided or else it was borne down by its own weight so that it spread out and gradually dispersed. In fact, I, I think it's it definitely caused more destruction than probably Nagasaki and, and you know and Hiroshima. If if you look at what happened, there's, there's survivors from, from that in Japan, you know, at the end of the Second World War. But this you know, when when this properly kicks off you know, you're not going to get any survivors within a radius of perhaps um, whatever amount of miles it goes out, depending on the size of the eruption. It could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 or more miles. And, you know, you can see all the cities that, that surround that area. You know, you're talking about millions of people. Sometimes it looked white, sometimes blotched and dirty according to the amount of soil and ashes it carried with it. So, I believe it's a serious warning. Take it seriously. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Um, the Lord Jesus Christ paid for your sin on the cross at Calvary. Ask him into your life and he will save you. He will send his Holy Spirit and seal you unto the day of redemption. And I'm quite certain that he will deliver you also from any of his judgments on the earth. He's capable of delivering us from anything. Um, including his own wrath, including what Satan is doing, um, which Satan tempts as Satan can do a manner of different things, but all Satan tries to get us to do is sin, and we have to resist the devil and he shall flee. Hallelujah. So, God bless you.